already we are having fun we're trying to eat food again as you can see our yeah. table <laughs> Alexa, do you want to do the introduction yeah welcome back to our channel guys how are you doing yes we're back we've missed you hope you've missed us too all the Ghanaians in the house we miss you guys we, we want to say thank you our video is Fly thank you for the love for the last video. Thank you for all the Ghanaians and everybody, even non Ghanaians, everybody who's watched it. So, thank you very much. We had to do a part Another, letter yes. two <laughs> exactly to say thank you to you guys. We decided to do another Ghanaian. Um, food mukbang mm -hmm. so and as you can see today there's there's like there's no right there's no rice we want to really chop up chop you know up, chop you up, know chop we want to really <laughs> be in ghana <laughs> this is accra accra that we have now because a friend told us if you guys try this uh what was what, what this called babe this is okra the okra shit. the okra and um this one what is it called um the light the soup. light soup yeah that, oh my god uh, we're gonna like it so we're giving it a go mm -hmm. mind what is on the table about the drink and everything that, yeah um, that's a king want that to just a king loves drinking he's he's on this whiskey <laughs> thing at the moment i'm not drinking i'm drinking water but a king will enjoy himself tell them what we have on the table please yeah so on the table on my side i have some light soup with assorted meat then we have beef shaki that kind of stuff with banku on akeem's side he has okra stew so it's just okra with a bit of like tomato stew on top and he's got his one with fufu so that's what we're doing and before we get into the video as always if you're new on this channel welcome to our channel my name is Alexa. this is Akeem and we hope you like the channel and hope you stay if you like our videos please subscribe please comment please like and yeah share even if you don't like this video <laughs> as long as you are here you are you're part of us no 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 as long as you are here you are you, you have to subscribe and you have to follow our channel. We really enjoyed the food in the first one, didn't we, babe? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was really, really nice. nice. And yeah, can't wait. And all the comments and the feedback we've got, there's a few people that told us to try different things. There's some things we didn't try last time. So this is something we didn't try and we're giving it a go. As you guys can see, I'm just, I can't wait to start eating. Cause so should we? I'm I feel like Alexa is chatting too much. Actually, I might steal some of yours and taste that. No, no way. Today. I, no. no, I've never had fufu before, so I want to taste what it tastes like. No way. Why? She always do this, guys. It's like if she has it, it from thing. my plate, she's not going to be satisfied. I can't remember the greeting from last time, but I remember aquaba. So, yeah, aquaba, guys. Aquaba malento ganane. <laughs> So, guys, I hope you guys can get yourself um, a bottle of water or any drink of your choice. Fanta. And maybe some popcorn while you sit there. Watch us having this nice food. This is something you can get yourself this as well this is nice it's giving me it's very i you know what i am i understand why it's called light soup it's very fact, light maybe i should put it here beside it what do you guys think i think it's gonna make it's sense. very very light it's giving me pepper soup vibes like you said Mm, but not really but it's not really like pepper pepper soup because you can still see that maybe they've done like tomatoes or mm. palm oil or something mm. but it's a light that's why it's called light soup yeah i get it <laughs> but it tastes nice it's really like it's kind of pepperish guys come and join us mm. This is nice, babe. I don't know, you just tasted it. It's really nice. This is your first bite. Yeah. 
Is it on the on maybe, the, the last bite? So maybe there's a taste at the end that you have to wait for. No, this is nice. Is it? Mm-hmm. I actually like Banku. I'm growing fond of the taste of Banku. Before when I ate it last time I was kinda like it was nice, don't get me wrong, but the bitter taste I think I have to get used to it. But someone told me because it's made with like fermented corn. That's what makes it taste a bit bitter, but I like it. Guys, I hope you guys can try this at home as well. This is really nice. Mm. Oh, this one is kind of fiery, you know. I didn't know Ghanaian people eat pepper like this. <clears throat> is, is, is it that spicy? Baby? No, not that spicy, but. It's, there's definitely a kick there. Really? I mm -hmm. guess that's why it's called pepper soup something something. Mm -hmm. Why are you so British? Is that spicy? The more you you know, the, when you eat it the first, keep eating it and you'll see what I'm talking about. Don't mind that guys, it's not that spicy, it is it's spicy. just British. I've eaten a lot of Nigerian food, I eat even more spicy food than most, some Nigerians. I'll say this is kind of spicy to be honest. Not that it's spicy that I can't handle it, I'm just saying that there's a heat there. I'm gonna say one thing, I've had fufu a couple of times when I was in Nigeria. But this fufu tastes different, like, I don't know, maybe where it was made or maybe these our Ghanaians have their own fufu. It's kind of soft with the way, compared to the way that we Nigerians have our own fufu. I think our own fufu, our own fufu is more this kinda, like... This kind of tastes like pounded jam, mm -hmm. a little bit. I've never had fufu, I see the fufu challenge everywhere on YouTube. Mm. And some people like it, some people don't. It. I think the texture is a bit more soft. Let me taste yours. Just. You see? That's why you shouldn't eat food that doesn't belong to you. Mmm, this is nice. This is kind of different though. It do not really taste like the Nigerian okra. I like that I will charge you. <laughs> I'll charge you. I don't even know what to charge you for, but I'll charge you to court. Hmm. It's similar, but it's kind of different. You get it? Mm -hmm. It's like there's this other back taste that there is one ingredient. You get it? Mm -hmm. And I like how the meat is soft. Mm -hmm. mm. I think I said that last time as well. So what are you incinerating now? Don't start. See, he started already taking offense for no reason. I'm not incinerating nothing. They are not to start. I'm not, you start with me tonight. I'm not incinerating. If I start, what will happen? I'll finish the whole thing. Mm. Now you can't eat. Wow, well, you know, why, why are you taking offense? Did I even mention anything about Nigeria? That's the thing, that's the problem. Don't start, stop. Start. It's like you're Don't so, even start. It's like you're so insecure. Oh, it's a shame. You're letting the Nigerian people down, man. You know what, guys? This is how she will start. Oh, the banku. That sour taste is definitely bad. It's like the more I keep going in the middle. I think I need to get myself a Ghanaian woman. Oh, well, whatever. Get her then. You said that last time. But you're still, guess what? You're still here with me eating Ghanaian food. No Ghanaian woman. The more I eat Ghanaian food, the more I'm falling in love. Just leave your flag in Ooh. the comment below, yeah? Is that the more you eat this, yeah? It what do you think, Eletta? It does have a heat. Mm. I feel like I'm sweating a little bit. Mm. What do you think? Um, if I get myself a Ghanaian woman. If you like, get yourself a Ghanaian woman. If you like, don't get yourself a Ghanaian I don't care. Ugh. Why are you? Crap. Really lovely. It's really, really lovely. 
If you guys know how I'm enjoying it. Thank you to everyone who suggested the um, food ideas and other things we should try. Again, like we said in our other videos, we're open to trying other foods as well. So if you get any other countries that you think that me and Kim should try. I think we're going to be doing some... What is it called? I mean... Very soon. Ah! I'm hot. Are you? This soup is making me hot. I'm stepping the window somewhere. Please. If you eat it once or twice, mm -hmm. it's not that spicy. But if you keep, 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 keep eating it, it's like the spice builds. Do you know what I mean? Oh my god. Let me have some drink. <sighs> what is this? Lim mind like mind your own plate. I don't even like liver like that. What is that? Lies. I prefer pomo. Lies. So liver. Leave your comment down below. I don't even think I do eat liver. Pomo or liver? Do you not even eat liver? Yeah, why not? I've never liked that, do you? The marbles eat liver though. Leaving your plate, and you see what one thing, guys. This behavior is she's so like I'm so used to it. She's so used to it that even if we are mention. in restaurants, she do this. She <laughs> does this when we are outside, even guys. Yeah, pardon my manager, but mm, I know I'm eating like a crazy person right now, but. This food is really nice. Ah, it's nice. I don't know if it's like nice like this, like every Ghanaian person that cooks is nice like this, or it's where we went. Mm. Do you get? It could be where we went because not all Nigerians know how to cook their food. Same way, I believe it's going to be for Ghanaians as well. So. Yeah. Electa, do you have any Ghanaian friends? I'm saying, yeah. I have a school friend that's Ghanaian. Like, friend, associate, yeah. But not like close, close friend. But yeah, yeah. I've. She's my friend. A school friend, yeah. Why do you? I think I need to do it myself. I think I have. No, no friend, but, you know. You alright? We alright, we're cool. Mm. Yeah, I've got two actually. <laughs> I've got I've got one. He's a girl. I like one friend. I was trying to say he's a boy. As well. I just remembered. I was thinking. Have you ever dated a Ghanaian before? Dated? Uh, yeah. Don't lie. Don't say that for camera. I have. You said dated. So in your in your mind, what does date mean? Like I'll be Ghanaian ex or something. No, no, no. Dating the word. If you say relationship, I will say no. Like, dated. Yeah, dating. I, I feel like dating and relationship is two different things. Dating is like for me anyway, personally. Correct me if I'm wrong. Dating is like yeah, we're going out. We might go to the movies. We might go to movies, but. You might have some relations, but it's not like proper girlfriend and boyfriend. I feel like relationship is like that is no, that is not dating. What's dating? You are dating no, someone guys, who is looking no. to be in a relationship with that person. But that's, that's pre, how, but that's pre relationship. That's what you no, do. You pre, this, this, okay, this, before this, we go in a relationship, dating. no, no, listen. Before we go in a relationship, you go on a date. Is it? Well, we dating. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. There's, I've so, dated guys. You can date someone and, and it might not work out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I've dated a Ghanaian before. It didn't lead to a relationship. But yeah. So. What's the experience like? Yeah, they're alright. They're nice people. I think I prefer them to Nigerian. Though. Why are you with the Nigerian then? Because you were the last option. 
<laughs> last <one. laughs> I didn't have a choice. <laughs> have you ever dated a Ghanaian girl? Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. To be honest, yeah. Dated, yeah. Where? I used to go out. In yeah. Nigeria or here? Yeah. Mm. And some of them might be nice. Some of them can they've, be very horrible. They've got nice. Uh, Ghanaian girls have got nice bodies. I've observed a lot. They do, but. There's always a but with the king. When it comes to Ghanaian people, there's always a, a but. A but. A but. He can't just let it be. He can't just let them have their time. He can't just let them shine. There's always, yes, it's nice, but. Yes, they do, but. But what? But what? But what? But the stubborn. Who can you girls? Mm. They know they are right too much. <laughs> I'm going to give up and use a spoon. Why are you trying to be bushing? No, because the water is, um, the soup is, look, it's a runny soup. So I'm scared that I'm going to pour it on myself. Woo! It's filling, in it? I'm getting full, guys. Same. Yeah, you know some people, yeah, they'll have, like, an issue with, like, how, you know how we're just talking. Like, me and Akeem are friends, guys. Like, me and Akeem, like, we're, we're this kind of, like, couple, yeah. Like, I always tell people that we're just, uh, we just have fun, we just joke, we're like, we're like mates, do you get it? Mm -hmm. So some people be like, oh, how can they be sitting there talking about, have you dated a Ghanaian guy, have you dated a Ghanaian girl, what kind of thing is that, why they're asking each other those things, like, we don't care, we talk about those things, like, obviously we don't get deep, like, but we talk like, oh, we take the piss out of each other sometimes, do you know what I mean? You know what happened this afternoon? I was actually telling a lecture that you see that girl that I was walking by. I was I was looking at her bum. Can you see that bum? Is it? Is it? Do you think it's nice? Yeah, yeah. Akeem does that to me sometimes. Like obviously not in a disrespectful way. Everyone has different like relationships with their partner. If I see a nice girl that has like a nice behind or whatever, sometimes I say to him, mm, Akeem, look at that bum. Look, and Akeem will look at him like, it's alright. <laughs> it's not that big or it's not that nice or whatever. Or sometimes it's like, yeah, it's nice, and then. We leave it like that. It's just, you know, I feel like a relationship or marriage shouldn't be too serious. Like, yeah, I can see a nice girl. I can't see. I think that girl is nice. She has her own opinion. And sometimes you see a nice dude walking by. You say, oh, I like that dude. Uh, no, I just I like him, Akeem. Yo. Like he's handsome, yeah. Yeah. But we did that, but a king would be like, okay, do you want to marry him? Oh, okay, I'll say, yeah, I'll marry him. You'll see him at the house one of these days. Like a joke, because I would never leave a king. I love him very much. He loves me. Like, do you know what I mean? But we just love having that banter. But some people will find it weird, so we just thought we'll let you guys know. And not every Ghanaian that will be able to cook this, though. And don't come because. Some of you lot, your mums can't even cook properly. You're just forced to be like, oh, mummy, this is it, because she's your mum. But she'll be serving you some okra street that don't taste nice. It's fine, just let her know, mummy, the food is done. It's not nice again. And go to the shop and collect it. <laughs> no, I think most of the Ghanaian women know that to cook, though. How do you know that? Especially them aunties, the mum, no. How do you know that? Isn't no. this the first time you're done? What's he talking about? No. The last mukbang that we did and this mukbang. Is this not the second time you've ate Ghanaian food properly? Where did you eat it from? Nigeria. Okay, don't start coming on YouTube to lie. Nigeria. Don't come on to lie. He was even slagging it off before. This is why I said to him, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Me, I had Ghanaian friends before. I was familiar, even like going to school so i knew of it like some things 
you know, I kind of, the way I looked at it, I was like, oh, it's nice, it looks similar to Nigerian food. Not the same, but it looks similar, like stews and soups and that. And Kim was like, eh, I'm here with Ghanaian food. He looks somehow, he looks somehow. But now, because he ate, he's enjoying it. Now he's trying to say, oh, the aunties can't cook. Mm -hmm. Tell the truth and shame the devil. Yeah, I believe them aunties would know how to cook, definitely. Compared to <laughs> it's not if you're auntie. Mm -hmm. Cause there's some Nigerian. We bet this food was made by one auntie yeah, in the um, restaurant. So but it's not every auntie that can cook. There's some Nigerian aunties that cannot cook for shh. They will cook jollof rice when you want to spare her in the bin. Mm -hmm. But you go to your boyfriend's house. His mom made jollof rice, and you just have to be forced to eat. Oh, auntie, it's nice, thank you. But deep down, you want to go. <laughs> I think we're gonna bring this video to an end. Mhm. Mm Leave your comment in the comment section. Make sure you hit the like button. Yeah. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Share this video with all your enemies and friends, your family. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you for all the love in our previous video. And hopefully you like this video just as much. Hopefully you watch it just as much and give us a lot of feedback. We love you guys. We love Ghanaian food. And um, yeah, give us more suggestions, more countries like we said last time. And yeah, Akeem, have you got anything to say? Yes, please. We want to see everybody's flag in the comments section so that we know where everybody is from. The Nigerians, the Ghanaians, the Zimbabweans, everybody that follows us on this channel. And especially, if you really enjoy this video... Especially the Ghanaians. Yeah. Rep your country down below. You know, you know, you know. If you can find me a Ghanaian girlfriend, guys, don't let like that yet. Anyway, we love you guys. And we'll see you in our next video.